Hey guys, welcome back to L&D Home. In today's video, we are gonna be tackling some projects. We're gonna be working in the kitchen, hanging up a new light fixture that we got from a garage sale, creating a very simple gallery wall, and finishing today's video with a few projects in our hall bathroom. Let's go ahead and jump right on in because we have a lot to take care of today. We are gonna be starting off in the kitchen organizing this cabinet. Don't worry, we do have some bigger home projects coming up. One in particular that has a much uh, more exciting finish, but this is something that I wanted to tackle for a while. This is where our spices and our medicine and supplements and stuff go, and it has just not been functioning for us very well. We're kind of just now throwing stuff in here, and the organization is just not working. So I started by taking everything out except for my son's medication. I did that kind of off camera because, well, his name um, and date of birth and everything is on there. So um, yeah, <laughs> I pulled it down, but I organized that off camera. But I am going to be putting another spice rack in here. And this is actually a bigger one that I got from Walmart. So I'm going to be using this one for our spices. And the one that was already in there, I'm going to be using for our supplements and like aspirin and things like that. And I just think this is going to work better because this larger spice rack has a bigger space for each tier. And one thing I was noticing is our spices were getting hard to get to and things were just kind of in the way and things were tumbling down. Why you want to let me go not now? Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know not now. I like to keep all my son's medication in one spot. That way he can hopefully remember to take it daily. And as he runs out, there's refills in the clear thing behind this teal thing. So he can just go ahead and grab his refills. Once I had all that kind of under control, I started moving on to the spices. One thing that I like to do is put those spices we don't use very often in the back. Now, I have tried a Lazy Susan before, and it just didn't really work well for us. I would really love a spice drawer, but it's just not something that we have. So all of those spices that we don't use super often went to the back, and the ones that we do use often and we reach for almost every time we cook something, I put those towards the front. So we're still going to have the issue of not being able to get to the spices in the very, very back really easily, but it just kind of is what it is. Like I said, a Lazy Susan just did not work for us. A spice drawer would be our goal sometime in the future, but this is actually functioning a little bit better than it was, so I'm happy with it. Also, the side with the medicine is functioning really well. I have my stuff in the front that I take, and then all of like the aspirin, Tylenol, and things like that, and you can see it now that it's on the tier, and you don't have to like pull out a container which we were having to do before to grab everything. So it definitely is working a lot better for us. It looks a lot neater and it's a lot easier to grab things when we need to get something. So on to that home project that I told you was gonna make a big difference. In our hallway, we have a boob light. <laughs> And our hallway is already very dark and the boob light is just not helping and it makes the whole hallway look yellow. Our hallway is painted a very bright color and it still looks yellow. I got this $4 from a garage sale, never had been opened. And I have it sitting around for probably like two months now. And I was really impressed because actually it had really never been opened. You never know with garage sales, but everything was wrapped up. None of the things were open or touched. $4 for this is a steal because I actually found this. I will link it down below. I found one that I think is the same or at least similar, and it's about 60 bucks brand new. So I will take the $4 price tag any day. So do not sleep on your garage sales or estate sales or thrift stores, anything like that, because you can definitely find some great bargains. I let my husband handle all this electrical-like stuff because I am just not good with this. I can spackle, I can caulk, I can paint, I can build some things even, but electrical is not my thing. So I'm letting him tackle most of this project, but I am going to be helping a little bit along the way. What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back. When were you going to tell me that? What am I hearing? Feels like a heart attack. Some 
One hiccup that we ran into was there was like a spot on the ceiling from where the base of the boob light was and there was just no fixing it. So we actually had to get one of these like decorative things and we got 16 inches because, well, that's what they had. We needed 12 and they either had 10 or 16. So we went ahead and got the 16 and it looks just fine. This is me holding his shirt down. <laughs> his belly was hanging out. So I eventually just cropped the video. So um, it wasn't bothering him and he didn't have to have a stomach on camera. But the things you do for your husband, you know, <laughs> especially when he's helping you put up this light <laughs> and you've been wanting this light put up. So we did buy one of those medallions, which kind of made it a pain to install this, I have to say. You're going to see in a bit a sped up version, and this took us probably 30 minutes just to install the thing on the ladder. That's not any of the prep work we've already showed you, running to the store, any of that. We were on the ladder for about 30 minutes because the medallion was in the way, the cords were really long, we were trying to get everything into the box, we got the thing up, and then we realized the medallion was not sitting flush to the ceiling. It was a whole process, so we definitely needed this medallion to make it look nice, but it definitely was a pain to install the light with this medallion kind of attached but not attached. So go ahead and grab a snack and um, watch us struggle immensely. May catch my breath again. How did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? After lots of taking it down, putting it back up, taking it down, putting it back up, it was time to put the bulb in and check to see if we liked the final product. Fingers crossed that I like it. Yep, it's much better than it was. Much better. Yep. It looks good. Yeah. Teamwork. I thought you were going to leave me Oh, that looks much better, though. Like, that's much brighter. While I am prepping for a small gallery wall the next day, I wanted to say we absolutely love the light. It is really bright, so it did take some getting used to, but since our light in the living room, our ceiling fan doesn't work, it actually gives us some light in the living room, which I think is amazing because sometimes our living room can get really dark because like I said, our electrical doesn't work. We're, we're working on that. We're going to get that fixed. We just haven't got around to it yet, but it definitely is giving a lot of light, not just to the hallway, but also to the living room. So we have really been loving having this new light fixture installed. It was totally worth the $4 and the like total two hours of time it took to put it up. The wall that I'm working on now, I actually used to have a gallery wall there and it just got too overwhelming and it looked too cluttered. So I took everything down when I painted and decided I didn't want it there anymore. And now it's looking a little bit bare. So I decided to do something similar, but way more simple. So when I did my son's prints for his room makeover, that will be linked down below. Um, I also got some prints for myself, just some pictures of the kiddos, and I decided to go with black and white pictures. And these were actually pictures that we took at a kind of like park that we go to and do the trails. One when they were really young and then one more recently. Same pose and everything. And I really wanted to put these up in the hallway to bring something to that area and just to see how much they have grown because it is insane insane how much they have grown over the years. Now, I did have some hiccups with this for sure. I thought I had spaced everything out. You can see me measuring and doing all of that stuff. But when I was done, I was like, ooh, 
I don't, I don't really like it. So I did change it off camera <laughs> because I wanted a little bit more space in between the pictures, which I thought I had planned for. But you know what? Sometimes your calculations and your plans don't always go the way you think they're going to go. And that's okay because you can just redo the project or change the way that you're doing it. You can always fix it. No big deal. We're just hanging pictures here. So yes, I had some things that I had to fix and I had to get the spackle and the paint out, but that's all right. <laughs> because with this hallway now all nice and bright, I really wanted this gallery wall up and running and I absolutely love it. stood back and realized I hated it. It just looked like they were all kind of clumped together. Now, I would love to have bigger pictures, but this was the size that I could find frames for. So I decided to redo it. <laughs> Here it is redone. I know it doesn't look that much different, but it definitely in person looks a lot different without them being too far apart. But I had some nail holes to fill. So I spackled just off camera. And after that was dry, I was ready to do some touch up paint. So one tip I have with touch up paint, if you do not feel like getting out an entire roller and you have textured walls, is to feather the paint out. So I did two coats of this. This is the first coat that you're watching where I really fill those spackled areas, cover it, but I also like to feather the paint out so it doesn't look like just a blotch on the wall. The second coat, I did the same thing, but I also kind of used my brush and did a stippling effect, like as if I was doing a craft and I was stippling. Because I didn't feel like getting out a roller and dirting in a whole paint pan and everything, and our walls are very textured, I was trying to help this touch-up spot kind of fit in with the rest of the wall. So on that second coat, I did do a stippling effect after I feathered just to give the wall a little bit more texture where I had painted over it. So that's just a tip that I have for you if you are trying to do a little bit of touch up paint. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. And now I'm losing sleep. What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? The next few projects are things I've been meaning to do for a while. So in the kids' bathroom, the sink is like barely running. Now I have to say, I didn't completely fix the problem. I think I'm going to have to buy, I think they call it an actuator. So YouTube says, I think I'm going to have to work on this a little bit more, but the water's like barely trickling out. So I watched a YouTube video and decided I was going to try and fix it myself. And I was so grossed out by all the stuff that popped out of here. It's, it's nasty. It's really, it, ew, like what is that? So I am going to be cleaning that <laughs> with vinegar and also underneath. Now I didn't see any clogs or anything when I looked underneath, but I'm still going to be cleaning that and just giving the whole faucet a little bit of scrub with some vinegar um, spray as well. It definitely helped. So when I put everything back on, the water flows definitely better, but the problem is not fully solved. So stay tuned to see how I solve the problem later sometime in the future. But while I was in there, the faucet was also moving around a lot. So I just kind of went underneath um, the sink and I tightened the little plastic bolt thing that keeps it from moving all over the place. I tried to get a clip of it, but it's extremely dark under there. So I did my best. 
So a project I needed to tackle, not fully tackled, but you can only do what you can do. You are also going to see a project at the end of this video that's a little bit questionable. I'm going to tell you what was going on and why I chose to solve it this way. So our bathroom ceiling is kind of like peeling off and it's a whole process. It's not cheap. It's a whole ordeal to kind of scrape the entire like ceiling part off and re-spackle it or whatever they use, re-mud it and paint it and do all of that. So I just wanted to fix it for the time being because I'm tired of it looking like the ceiling is falling in on us. And we're going to be having some people over here a few weekends in a row. So I just wanted to get it fixed. Now, I am fully aware that spraying like spray adhesive from Joanne Fabrics is not the correct way to fix this problem. I know. <laughs> but I wanted to be 100% real with you guys because some of the things that we do around our house are not always the complete correct way or sometimes we just have to put a band-aid on something as long as it's safe and well this seems safe to me um, we have to put a band-aid on something to solve a problem temporarily until we can find the time and or the money to actually solve the problem the correct way so i want to be fully transparent always on this channel and this is real life that you are about to see and i'm a fan when people show real life. So that is what our ceiling looks like. And I know I'm not fixing it the correct way, but um, it's the way that I am fixing it. So here we are, 100% real. guys so much for watching today's video i hope you found it helpful or at least entertaining especially that last part make sure you check out the video and the playlist on the screen and as always smash that subscribe button so you can become part of our youtube family bye